Hello friends, welcome to the stereochemistry lecture again. Today we are going to learn the basic differences between conformation, conformers and configuration. We know that the rotation about a single bond can occur without any change in the amount of orbital overlap. Therefore, a molecule consisting of several atoms or groups connected together by single bonds exhibits several special arrangement of atoms or groups which can be interconverted by rotation about the single bond. For example, two special arrangement of atoms in ethane A and B. A can be converted into B by just 60 or 180 degrees clockwise rotation of right side carbon about the CC single bond. A special arrangement C and D of 1,3-butadiene. In this case too, C can be converted into D by just 180 degrees rotation of right side carbon about CC single bond. Now, let's take the example of tartaric acid. Few selected special arrangement of tartaric acid are E, F, G, E prime, F prime and G prime. E can be converted to F by 120 degrees by 120 degrees rotation of right carbon about CC single bond. Similarly, 120 degrees rotation will convert F to G. 180 degrees rotation will convert E to E prime. 120 degrees rotation will convert E prime to F prime and F prime to G prime. 180 degrees rotation in F will give F prime and G to G prime. These special arrangement of atoms are groups of a molecule that can be interconverted by just rotation about the single bonds are called conformations. So, A and B are the conformations of ethane. C and D are the conformations of 1,3-butadiene and E, F, G, E prime, F prime and G prime are the conformations of tartaric acid. Chair, twist boat, boat and half chair forms of cyclohexane are also the example of conformations. Conformational isomers are conformers. Out of several possible conformations of a molecule, conformations which are present on potential energy minima are called conformational isomers or conformers. For better understanding, let's take the example of potential energy diagram of some important conformations of butane. This is the potential energy diagram. On the potential energy maxima, the conformations are syn periplanar and anticlinal. And on the energy minima, there are synclinal or gauge and antiperiplanar. So, according to the definition, Gauch and antiperiplanar conformations present on the energy minima are also called conformational isomers or 
conformers. Configurations Special arrangement of atoms or groups that can be interconverted by breaking and making of one or more bonds are called configurations. For example, E2-butene and Z2-butene. R lactic acid and S lactic acid. If we want to convert E2 butene to Z2 butene, we will have to break pi bond, rotate this CC bond through 180 degrees, and then remake pi bond. Similarly, if we want to convert R lactic acid to S lactic acid, we will have to break the CC, two CC bonds, exchange the position of methyl and carboxylic groups, and then remake the two CC bonds. Since the conversion of one spatial arrangement to another requires breaking and making of bonds so E2 butene and Z2 butene are the configurational isomers of 2 butene and R lactic acid and S lactic acid are the configurational isomers of lactic acid.